What's up, everybody? What's up? We're going to be having a show tonight. Hey, we're actually tuning in to a show right now. Watching some old school MWA. I think this is at the Georgetown. We got Jerry the King Lawler in the ring right now. Yes, we do. Hey, back then, Jerry the King Lawler used to show up to the shows and he would wrestle on Kentucky Independent Wrestling. This is Mountain Wrestling Association on the TV right now. And that right there is the son of Barry Steele, a.k.a. Ray Barry Steele, who wrestled with the Steele family way back when, when they were conquering and running all damn ways, the Mountain Wrestling Association. Now I'm here in the studio, me and Johnny, you know, the co-host, well, are we co-hosts or just hosts now? We're hosts <laughs> and co-hosts at the same time. I mean, I can't believe that elbow dropped Andy so bad that he just decided he ain't got that dog in him no more. He ain't got that dog in him no more. I ain't, I ain't seen him. He, he's on cruises at SummerSlam. And yet, he, know, yet, yet he ain't Andy putting right in the work. Andy right now is taking his much-needed vacation. Yeah, but at the same time. But it just happened to be at the same time that you hit him with that double knee. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right, well, right after. Not the same time, but right after Johnny hit him with a double knee. You know, he was like, I'm taking me a little break. And he's been crying about it. He's like, yeah, he, he tried to fucking kill me. And I'm like, dude, let go. It was inside the match. I mean, when you're inside the match, you got to do what you got to do. Be money knows because he's a four-time, 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 four-time state champion. Hell yeah. And he used to tear people's shoulders out of socket out of just socket. for hell. That's a true story, and uh, I might post that one day. That might be a, I might make a highlight reel my old days. You know, it's almost four years that I've been out of it, but, man, a highlight tape would be pretty fucking sick, wouldn't it, Johnny? Yes, it would be. And, uh, show it thing. Tell them about the show we got tonight. We got a banger. We got Yes, we do. We got we got Shane Parker. We got Tuffy, Tuffy Jr., and we got Kicking Kelly Charles, a legit MMA fighter who has wrestled for the NWA and Independent Kentucky Wrestling for years. Let me tell you something about uh, Tuffy. Tuffy and Sean John knows. Sean Jones, if you see this, you'll know. I ain't never heard a chop that sounds like a gunshot. And that's what Tuffy sound like. It sounds like he's hitting you with a sawed off shotgun every time he chops somebody. It's insane. Exactly, because Sean John still he still has nightmares from the time that he got chopped by him. Tuffy told him They said when they said when Sean got chopped, he started his period. Hey, I heard about <laughs> that too. I mean he made a mistake. Tuffy hey. Tuffy asked him, he said, Hey, you wanna you wanna do some chops with me? Sean I don't know what he was thinking, why but would, why would he do it? Why would he do it? Set, set it down here. And let's yeah, exactly. Why? Yeah, there we go. Why would he? Hold on. Yeah, we gotta find some way to. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna prop y'all up here. We're gonna have a little mother trucker, dude. <laughs> All right, no, right. Hold on. We got we gotta get we gotta get a phone holder. Where's the where's the damn belt? Or, there's a belt there's a little belt we got us a belt this yep. so this is what happens before the show you know yeah me this and John is what you got dude sitting here oh dude that might be perfect that yep. is perfect so yeah we're just you know before the show but who and who tells tuffy who asked him hey you want to do some chops with me who says yes according to sean he said, yes, not thinking enough of it. He should have known. You're not going to just chop him. He's going to chop you back. And what they had, what happened? He, he says they gave Tuffy a wicked chop. And then Tuffy tells him, here, put your shirt over your head. That should have told him bad things are happening bad tonight. Bad deal, bad deal. So Tuffy licks his hand. And you know how Big Chill likes to do overheads? Bam! He chopped him right in one good time across his chest. And Sean Johnson still, to this day, crying. Dude, it's that. like, 
what was it? When he when he chopped Sean, apparently all his bodily fluids just dropped out. Piss, shit, that'd be rough. That's what I've been hearing. And every time he hears the name Tuffy, the first thing Sean does, he runs. Oh, we also got Tuffy Jr. coming yep. on the show tonight. And look, he looks just like his fucking dad. Just, just with, just with, uh, uh, just with uh, more distinct beard. And hair. Yes, and hair. But hey, you wouldn't tell Tuffy wouldn't that they had no hair. Because he might go, hey, be money. What well, he's talking to me. Well, and, shit, does that mean I'm more of a pussy? I can't be more. Then I have to take the shot. Yeah. I can't be more. To. And, hey, maybe, maybe you'd handle it, though. Better than Sean. I'm not good. Uh, well, yeah. I'm. I, I mean, you've dealt. I mean, you've dealt with conflict before. Sean, he says he's not dealt with that kind of stuff. So maybe you would handle that chop better than Sean does. Yeah, you're kind of right. Cause you've had, you've been wrestling. You've been doing Olympic state wrestling. So you get chopped, you'll probably handle it. Sean, he gets chopped, he gonna cry about it. I mean, I've been chopped. I, I let Jumrell chop me. And then he chopped me inside the same place that he kept on chopping me. I think I've seen a video of that. And, dude, Johnny had no reaction. You could tell that shit hurt, but Johnny had no reaction. Yep, but Sean, off to the side of the camera, he's, he's, he's with every time the chop happens. I did that just to fuck with him. I asked Joe to chop me because I want to fuck with Sean yeah. a little bit because Sean's always going on about how he got chopped and he cried about it. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll let Joe Morrell chop me. Joe Morrell does the extra mile. He chops me at least three more times. First two times he chops me. Then he has Kevin St. Clair hold my arms behind my back, and then he chops me in the same way. i tell you what, it did hurt, but I ain't no bitch. Yeah. So I showed no emotion to it. I would have sold for, it, sold for him, though, if we were inside a wrestling match. Hmm. And right now we got on the TV... Jerry King Lawrence doing his thing. No. That's someone that Jerry King Lawrence brought into the ring. Isn't it? I can't tell. What? Is that Abyss? Is that Chris Justice? It might be. It looks like Chris Justice. He looks like he's in, uh, what's him nurse's suits called? Yeah. Uh, what them damn things called? Uh, scrubs. Yeah, scrubs. scrubs. He does look like he's in Scrubs. But yeah, tonight we got Tuffy. Tuffy Jr., Shane Parker, kicking Terry Charles, our legit MMA fighter because he went from wrestling One to MMA. In, in Kentucky. Exactly. And he also teaches MMA to the younger generation because he has pictures of it up on his profile right now. You can find him at Ke Kelly Pennington. He does a lot of training. He's been doing a lot of things. He's had legit MMA fights. You don't want to miss tonight. You don't want to miss tomorrow because tomorrow we got Rod Ruffin, Angel of MWA. We got Rob the Bomb Williams, who you probably know about because who wouldn't know who Rob Williams is. And then, last but not least, we got the slickest of all ring announcers. We got Slick Rick in the house, and he's doing his thing. And, damn it, I can't be more excited about tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be all about the sickest of them all and Ooh. the man himself Roger Ruffin Angel and Rob the Bomb Williams because B-Money let me tell you oh let me tell you a little fun fact about Roger yes. Ruffin he refereed one of the Wrestlemanias it's one of the earlier ones I can't remember yes. which one but he did referee one of the Wrestlemanias which is really cool so, in a way, we got a WWF legend coming exactly. in. Exactly. And we got Rob Williams. If you don't know Rob Williams, I bet that you've heard of him. Because I feel like I've seen him in WWE at one I'm point. I'm getting a call. Or maybe TNA. Yellow. But, yes. You're going to want to come and see that show tomorrow night. So, folks, I'm in this vlog here. Dang, I can't believe that the camera saw my thumb. But to folks, this is the end for tonight. Come join us at 8 p.m. And remember, 
Stay nice. Because if you ain't having fun, you ain't getting none. Damn skippy.